up this morning bright and early and we are making pancakes. Does that sound good, boys? Yeah. We actually didn't have any um, pancake mix, but we did have waffle mix, so I attempted to modify the waffle mix, and hopefully we're gonna make some pancakes. It's actually like way past Valentine's, but I just thought it would be really fun to make that like heart-shaped pancakes out of these little cookie cutters that I have, so we'll see how it works and if they actually turn out. But this poor kid, how are you doing today? Good. Good, what is going on? My ear hurts. Aww. No. So if you guys don't know, we have been doing a little bit of swimming the past few days because our pool is super warm and it actually um, has been pretty nice, although the cold weather is back, but I think Ollie's got a little earache, huh? It's nothing too major yet. He doesn't have like a fever or anything, but he just keeps saying like it hurts, which usually means that he probably has like outer swimmer, swimmer's ear, which he gets every once in a while. I got them a ton as a kid, and it hurts to like the touch. So which ear hurts, bud? This one. <gasps> Aww, it hurts like when you touch it. Yeah. Aww, I'm sorry. So something that always worked when I was a kid was colloidal silver. And so we're gonna put a few drops in and put a movie on while I make the pancakes and let this sit in your ear. And um, this usually actually fixes it. If it doesn't, he'll we'll have to take him to the doctor. But this honestly usually does it. It like dries it all up and you know what also does it? Garlic, but that stuff smells disgusting. Your kids will start to smell like an Italian dish. <laughs> but I do use it. They have like garlic drops and then they have the colloidal silver mix those together and his ear should be good to do within a next day or two. All right, let's go ahead and put some drops in. You can show all the kids how easy it is to do so no one's scared, okay? All right, so we just take this little syringe. We just do like two or three drops in his ear. Good job. Just like that, is it a little cold? <laughs> yep, and then you can just massage it in so it goes into the ear canal. Ben, give your brother kisses and tell him it'll be okay. Okay. Aww. All right, let's put on a movie, okay? We are dressed and ready for the day, and where are we headed? To Auntie's house! <laughs> We're actually headed to Mimi and Papa's house, and Auntie is here. We are gonna film a video with Auntie. Ooh, he gets so excited when Auntie comes down to film videos with him. There she is! Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Good. Are you ready to film? Yeah. You know what we're doing? What? Okay. okay. <laughs> Check it out, my dad's car is sitting outside his uh, house. How's it been? It's been pretty good. Have you enjoyed it? What yeah, you I've enjoyed been it? enjoying it a lot. I mean, I have locked myself out of it. <laughs> so as you guys know, it has this special little key fob and because it doesn't have door handles, which means all you have to do is leave the keys in there and close the door and you can't get in. I started it. I thought, <laughs> oh, I gotta go get something. I got out, click. <laughs> I spent 30 minutes while the car's running. Oh my, and like, run, 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 run. Yeah. I'm trying to get a wire oh in there. Oh my and stuff gosh, and you're so and silly. I got it. Yeah. And then, well, hopefully, you can fix because that. Because it was a surprise car, yeah. I didn't get to talk to the guy. Yeah. And he told me there's a release cable. <laughs> You just gotta pull the cable. Uh, <laughs> oh. So now he knows that. Yeah. So he'll probably make it a lot easier for him to get in. But yeah, I think Dad's enjoying it. So I was actually only planning to uh, leave Ollie at the house, but like I was thinking, Finn was like not having it. I was driving away, and he's like, oh! so Auntie was nice enough to say, hey, he can be in the video too. Uh, I got to run to Target really quick. Got a big old bin back there. Um, a lot of stuff for my horse, um, which I'm headed up to. He has a training lesson right now, so I'm gonna go up there and hang out with him. My dad's gonna help me kind of spruce up his stall and all that. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. I get to see my horse. <laughs> all right, so I just got to the barn, and um, Nacho had his lesson, and he was pretty good, but I wanted to show you guys his new stall area. Look how cute it is! So I've got my little tack box, and then here I'm gonna get some pictures for 
of us in here. Like the me and Nacho and the kids and Nacho. I got some treats for us. Pure treats for the horses. <laughs> and then what he eats and his name. And I think I want to put a little plant there. So cute, I love it. It's got stuff for hanging. I think I want to get like a wreath here. And this is Cosmo. I am just totally obsessed with my little area. I think it's so cute. And I have like all my little letters here I'm gonna tear up. But Finn's like, I wanna go home. Everyone wants to go home, so I'm leaving now. Say, I wanna go home. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's just sitting up here saying, Mom. Hurry up. So Ollie and I just got back from a haircut. New digs, look at that dude. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, our new little Dory is doing so good. She's getting along with all the other fish. No one's tried to attack her, so that's awesome. Check out this anemone. Hey Ollie, can you say anemone? Anemone. 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 I can't say it. <laughs> he was like pressing his face up against the glass and trying to He's say it. He's really big. It's so funny. Huh? He's really big. That's, a, that's the anemone. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So this anemone right now is actually white because it has a, like an antibiotic to mm -hmm. keep it alive. But he said it's actually going to change to its original color, which is like a bright purple or red. And look at Dory. She's so happy, huh? She's so cute. And she's getting along with everyone. Ah. And we've got yeah. new little... Plants. Oh yeah, those ones are out now, so we got those. I love that one. Yeah, that and one Patrick's cool. still hanging out right there. Look at there. He's actually getting ready to bend back and yeah. catch some food. So he's basically saying he's in this current right here. He's basically catching all the food that's coming out of there. So I think that means he's gonna live. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but look at him, he's actually slowly taking each like little tentacle down yeah. and pulling his his little arm back. Like it's the cutest thing. It's crazy. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna give me some food. <laughs> that is one of the new additions that Missy picked out. Very, very cool. And then this one looks so cool too. It looks like a bunch of hands I know. like reaching up. <laughs> like little eyeballs. Okay, so we are home and I am headed out to check out my chickens. Um, we had a little bit of an incident the other day. Basically, what happened was my chicken coop got so cold and when it gets cold, things kind of adjust in it. I mean, it's probably because it's just not really put down on a, a solid foundation, but things adjust and what happened was this ended up just getting so loose because it was cold that it dropped open. And so one morning, chickens got out. Well, this was yesterday morning. The sun comes up and there's a way to get out. They always want to like see. So they got out and I didn't know they were out. And of course, I let Luna out when she wanted to go out, which was very early, it was like 5 a.m. I let her out. I didn't even notice that the chickens were out until 8 a.m. And I'd already like brought Luna in after that. So anyways, all my chickens are there except one and no one is hurt. No one had any issues because Luna is kind of a crazy dog. She's had some incidents with the chickens a couple times. So here's all my chickens, but I am missing one chicken and the chicken I'm missing is Kelly. I'm missing Kelly. She was the gray and white speckled one. Now, good news is she's not dead. <laughs> or at least didn't die by Luna at least. Um, because there's no feathers and if, I mean to be honest, if she was dead, Luna would have, it would, it would be like around here. So we haven't seen her, she's not here. I'm guessing she got scared and flew away and is just either waiting for a safe time when she can come back or is lost, I'm not really sure. So we are gonna go look for Kelly, see if we can find her. I'm hoping she's okay. I have lost a chicken before who's got scared and left and I mean I swear it was like, lots of days later that it actually did come back. So I feel like she's gonna come back, but we gotta see if we can find her first. She's probably just sitting in a bush, okay? okay. Let's go see what we can find. Uh, Ollie, I think I just found a clue. <gasps> Uh-oh, guys. I actually didn't see this yesterday. There's a feather. Karma, find this chicken. There actually is a couple feathers. Oh no. We have this big old pile of rocks right here and I'm wondering if she flew in here or got stuck in here. That would be a pretty safe spot. Like nothing else would probably get her, but yeah, she's gotta come out. Yeah. Is she in there? Do you guys see her? <laughs> Did you see her? Yeah. Oh gosh. No, you didn't. <laughs> Kelly, where are you? Uh, 
All right, we're looking down in here. I really don't think she's in here. This is honestly pretty interesting, actually. I see a feather there, and if you look really deep, I do see feathers in there. Look at that. And those are definitely her feathers, but I don't see her. What do you see? Do you see feathers? Yeah. <laughs> chicken in there? Do you see the chicken? I don't see her. I'm looking in all these crevices and I just don't see anything. I'm wondering if maybe she flew in here, got scared, climbed up here, and then just like flew over here. But gosh, if she's over there, I don't know where she could be. And I did see a coyote back here this morning. So hopefully she was able to hide. Where's the chicken, Finn? Oh! You really think she's in there? Yeah. Karma's like, really? Really, Missy? I can't protect you over there. I'll go over there. Oh yeah, out of the bushes. Ollie's got her feather. Do you think it's gonna help find her? Yeah. It's a clue, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the wrong clue. It's the wrong clue? I think so. Yeah, we need to find the right clue. We're basically on like a treasure hunt for our chicken. Not over there? No, like, well, I need like some food. Oh, you gotta shake food? I don't know how I'm gonna get back. <laughs> I might be lost too. Okay, bye. We lost mama and the chicken. Look at Finn's like, how do I get over? <laughs> there you go, babe. Just a silly little fence. <laughs> Ollie's got some chicken food. Maybe we should throw it near the fence and see if she comes, Ollie. Here, grab some food and come over here. Actually, what if we put it right here? Maybe it'll want her to come get some food. I hope she's okay. Yeah, me too. So it is cold and everyone seems to have abandoned me of <laughs> looking for the chicken. I went around, like shook food and kind of like put food places to see if maybe she'll like come out. But my last resort is that I put Luna in the house and I'm letting the chickens out and I'm hoping that maybe by them, you know, making all their sounds and all that, she'll hear them and maybe come out and say, see that it's safe. All right, so you find Kelly, tell her it's safe to come home and she needs to come back so she can be safe and eat food and drink water. I feel so bad that she's lost. I really am sad that she is lost. Um, I'm really hoping that she finds her way back. And honestly, like I said, this has happened before and I remember it being like, I remember, I feel like it was like weeks that she was gone, but maybe it was just a few days. But she was gone for a long time and I was like, guess she's gone. And then she's like randomly came back one day, so. We'll see, you find Kelly, okay guys? I'll keep Luna away from you guys. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. Woohoo! We're gonna go to dinner. Right, I'm all ready for dinner. I just had to blow my nose. I had a big old bugger hanging from it. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, oh there's ah. another booger! You pulled this booger out of my nose, Ollie. <laughs> and your brain didn't pop out when you pulled it out? No, is that what happens yeah. in the game? Yeah, the brain that just like popped out of the scary. head. <laughs> is that so silly? Yeah. yeah. Help me pick my booger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Finn, yes, help him pick is. his booger. Pick that booger out. <laughs> Grab it. Oh, you got it. Got it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You wheel it. You wheel it, guys. <laughs> oh, I you think. got a big one. Oh, that actually consisted of boogers. All right, Finn, climb in the car. It's time to go right here. There you go. Do you want me to help you? No. Can I help you? No. Here? No. Here? No. Get in okay, your seat. well, then you get in. Get in your seat. Mr. Independent. <laughs> he sees all and he's like, Finn, can I, can I just help you in there? Mr. Dad, no. Mr. Dad. Ben, come on then, get in the seat. <laughs> so funny because Ollie has been so much more independent at getting in the seat and like taking his buckles off and putting them on. And I think Finn has been taking notice. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you have to let me get in the seat. <laughs> he's like, don't do it. Now he's just teasing you. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, dude, you are quite the climber. Finn, what are you doing? You're stuck in this giant shoe. Just put one foot in there. See if you can do it. One foot. There you go. Two. <laughs> one foot and one big foot. Hi guys. All right, Finn, what do you say we go eat dinner? 
He's excited. All right, guys, we had a great dinner and I actually already put the boys to bed. We had a really fun day. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video and I'm gonna get ready for bed. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I am really, really hoping that Kelly comes back. Please be thinking about her. Hopefully we'll see her soon. I'll let you guys know if she uh, ends up making her way back home. For now, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.